everybody, it's me, Brooke. Me, the blob. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to invite you guys to click down below to our prayer request form. It's a form that you could fill out and send us your prayers. Yeah. We have a team. We will also be praying for whatever your prayer needs are. Also, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ or you're curious, you want to know more, we have yeah. a video in our description box as well where Pastor Bob talks about all those sorts of things and we just wanted to make that available to you guys. Yeah. And if you're already believing that this episode's going to be amazing, go ahead and give it a thumbs up right now. If you haven't subscribed and you're feeling generous, go ahead and subscribe right now. But without further ado, let's get into the episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to God Thing TV, Season 2, Episode 6. We are still talking about intimacy with God and with others because that's really... They all affect each other. Yeah. It's me, Brooke, and Pastor Bob. Pastor Blob. Blob. Yes. Right. You know, I got it just for transparency. You know, watching some of our <laughs> some of our shows, Brooke, she does strange things over here. Like we're interviewing Pastor Pat last week and or this week, and uh -huh. she she's like doing things and <laughs> truth bombs. I, I just gotta make laugh. it interesting. I know it's really it's, funny. I have an advantage because I'm sitting here doing things, and then I'm the one editing the videos. So then I know, oh, I'm gonna do this motion and then add this. Yeah, in. yeah. See, if they only saw you introducing and ending, they would think you're normal. Yes. But when they see the in between, they know you're not. Right. See, that's the Hashtag deal. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so here we are, intimacy with God. But I yeah. do get a kick out of that. If you're watching Brooke, you'll see she does strange stuff all the time. I don't even know half the stuff she does, actually. It's just because I, I have to stay focused on yes. what we're doing or else my brain will be... Got it. <laughs> Come back, Brooke. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Well, anyway, here we are, intimacy with God. And I you know, have some things I want to share with you. And Brooke wants to say some things, I'm sure. She says she doesn't, but she does. She says the important stuff. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about like intimacy and friendship and in fellowship. And Wait, it's really. So you mean intimacy is not just with your husband or wife? No. Wow. Yeah. You got that, everybody? It's crazy, isn't it? Imagine having closeness mm -hmm. with even your friends. Yeah. Hmm. It's amazing. So I want to bring you immediately to the Bible. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. First John you 4. Mean, wait, the sword of truth? No, not that. Don't get the sword. Somebody might get hurt. It might be me. I hate this. Okay, uh -oh. so go on. First John 4. First John 4. It's interesting. Uh, in the first part, or well, middle of First John four, the, the you know John's talking, and by the way, John is a love guy, yeah, in so many ways he's great, um, but he's talking about if we confess that the you know Jesus is the Son of God, we have this kind of thing with God, and like a secret handshake, yeah, secret, but more he abides with us. Oh, abiding is a weird word, handshake. like abiding is like this remaining thing, staying with somebody. Uh, not, never losing them. It was really crazy. Like that's a crazy kind of intimacy that we right. don't know about. Well, that one's that one gives you access into God so that you can be with Him all the time and have this intimacy. So this knowing Him as your Lord and Savior, confessing Him is so important. You know what I'm saying? And, and we have a little thing where we do here. Where if you need to know the Lord out there, it just where'd it go? Where'd it go, Brooke? Down there. Way down there. They have to go like. Okay. Yeah, they, they scroll. Scroll. And, and then there's a video in the description box. Where I get to pray with them. Yeah. Yeah. You do that, you know God. Now that brings you into the first step, like the relationship with him mm -hmm. of intimacy. Um, and I want to say like friendship. Hmm. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. So going on in John, and I've got my iPad here. I'm going to read from. It's very cool, you know. Um, down here, it says... If someone says, this is in John 4, 1 John 4, 20. So if someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. What? For the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. She's doing weird things over there again. <laughs> Just trying yeah. to animate what's being spoken. It is great, isn't it? <laughs> No, it and, makes tons of sense. 
It makes a ton of sense. Yeah. And, you know, so this is really crazy because this means, that from God's perspective, that it's, it's impossible to really say you're a lover of God or intimate with God unless you actually are a lover of people and friends with them. Yeah. Like f real fellowship with them, yeah. which is crazy. Which actually, by the way, is really the core of our church here in wonderful Word New Orleans Village. Yeah. Fellowship. Fellowship. It's the fellowship part. It's the loving one another. It's the kononia. Yeah, and you it guys can really kind of get a glimpse of our fellowship yeah. in our um, a couple of vlogs ago. Uh, oh, yeah. That's why, you know, this morning I was like seeking the Lord about this. And this is mm -hmm. what, actually, that's what brought it up. Oh. It's like... We introduced you, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and look at it. Mm -hmm. It's a vlog. And go look at it, and you'll see, like, we went through our fellowship hall with the people. Like, we showed you people. We showed you our property, and now we it showed you our people. It's kind of loud, that video. I will be it honest. It is, yeah. But that, I mean, that's the reality. It's fun. Yeah. But what you're seeing there is people in love. Yes. In friendship. Mm -hmm. And so God puts this thing in First John 4 and says, you know, how can you say... You love the invisible God if you're not loving the people who you see. I like this. I uh oh, iPad time. It says in First John four, and this is in the Message Bible, the not mm. real Bible. Mm. Oh yeah, it's really interesting. It says if anyone boasts, I love God, and goes right on hating his brother and sister, thinking nothing of it, he is a liar. If he won't, and I like, this is the part that struck me this morning when I was seeking the Lord. It says, not if he just doesn't. It says, if he won't love the person he can see, how can he love God who he can't see? Mm -hmm. So it's like intentional, which goes back to another thing. And this week, you're seeing our, you know, our show with Pastor Pat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or last week, I guess that would be. Yeah. You know, I'm a little lost in time sometimes. And he talked about love and intimacy not being a feeling. Mm -hmm. Like it has to be intentional. It's a choice. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. And so, it, Which, it, yeah, sorry. go for it. Uh, you can interrupt me anytime because it's better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know um, a lot of people, or there's this thing like choose happy or, you know, like happiness yeah. is a choice. Yeah. And a lot of people... Uh, Especially people who I've recognized that have mm -hmm. struggled with depression or might yeah. be struggling with depression say, that's not true. Like, this is, it's more than a choice. Like, because mm. a lot of the world is feeling based. But yes, you can choose happy because it's all about your thoughts and linking them to the proper actions. Yes. So when you're choosing to be intimate with the Lord, you're choosing yeah. to then... You're not just saying, I'm intimate with the Lord. You could say it and say it and say it and mm -hmm. not actually mm -hmm. be it. It's So it's, yeah, it's not just a feeling because the feeling just kind of like sits in here, but feelings also have a react uh, reaction, which is the things that you do. They so, actually come out in reality. Yeah. And, you know, what's interesting is secret time. If you only spend time with your friends when you feel like it, question is are you really a friend right you know what I'm saying are I you think, really a friend I think your friends will start to begin to not want to be your friend yeah anymore. They, like it's like you're taking advantage of them yeah like you're using them like you're it's only a friendship on your terms yeah which is not really a yeah. friendship because like you used it like in a uh, husband wife relationship boy that would be a problem I, I'm only going to be with you or eat dinner with you or anything with you when mm -hmm. I feel like it. Right. And not when they feel like it. Mm -hmm. I know I would be pretty annoyed. People buy husbands and wives like yeah, that. They weird. don't really. That's a different kind of thing. They don't have that. Don't do that. They don't have that conania. They don't have that covenant. So it, this is what God was putting in my heart. Is that uh, we can't always just abide with God when we just feel like or we won't really be a real friend of God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a little crazy when you really think about it. And, you know, you really have to, like, go after that friendship, pursue okay. that friendship, pursue him in love, right? Not just, okay, I feel like a God thing today, so I'm going to get intimate with him. Because, like Pastor Pat was saying, sometimes you're not going to feel like it at all. 
Right. Matter of fact, sometimes you might feel against him. Right. I would say, secret, that's a really good time to go after him <laughs> and like press into his friendship. You know what I'm saying? And I think God, I think God, whoa, I, God think, I think God put that in there in the Bible in 1 John 4. And from a man of love, John the Beloved, okay, so that we would get it, like so that it would become part of our lives, mm -hmm. like in such an intimate way that we pursue friendships with people. And in that process of pursuing it with them, we actually know how to pursue it with God and not just hope that it falls out of the sky on right. us. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. I actually think this goes along with even making like new friends or new yeah. relationships. Yeah. Uh, clearly, the opportunity's out there. I mean, how many people mm -hmm. are are out there? And the same thing with God. He's there. He's the almighty, yeah. everlasting God. He's always there, basically like ready to for you to, to go have a deeper relationship with yeah. him. But most people, because mm. I'm, I'm kind of paralleling two examples here, but most people in the natural aren't going to know that you want a relationship with them mm -hmm. or that you're interested in them, either friendships or romantic, otherwise, mm -hmm. whatever. People can't read your minds. God can read your, or he knows what your thoughts right. are, Absolutely. but he's not going to impose himself on you. Mm -hmm. He's going to wait. And so I think so many... Um, people in the world, even a worldly sense, is like mm -hmm. you have to go after your dreams and right. go after all these right. things, which is a really self-focused, like mm -hmm. your dreams and your aspirations, mm -hmm. which is, that's mm -hmm. all fine and dandy, but <laughs> what about go after love, go right. after meeting new people, go after making a difference in their world, even yes. if it's just your m own mom, you know, Absolutely. or something like that. But the same thing with the Lord, you need to go after that relationship with him and make that. Absolutely. So God like he wants us to pursue him just like he pursues us. Mm -hmm. Our friends, you know, to be, to have friends, the Bible says you have to show yourself friendly. Mm -hmm. And so there's a... And it can't be a porcupine. Right. I like that porcupine thing. That's yeah. cute. But you, you have to pursue yeah. right, friendship. Yeah. And so here's the deal. Sometimes Christians aren't really good friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's... And I don't think it's like a curse on us. I think it's something we have to train ourselves to be better. Right. Like to care, because yeah. that's yeah. the true root of friendship. Totally. And you know, and I know this is going to sound like way out there right now when we're talking we about this thing. We're going way out there. But when the Lord started downloading this to me this morning, the other thing he brought me to is John in the book of Revelation mm -hmm. on the island of Patmos, all, you know, kind of there in jail, basically. The book of Revelation, very few people understand this, but it's actually about worship. Mm. Yeah? And there's a big component of it, actually, if you actually go through and look at it closely. Um, and early on in the book of Revelation, it starts talking about the churches and all this stuff. And one of the things there that God brings up is that, and it's warning to churches, mm -hmm. to us people, church people, right? Listen up. Listen, Listen up. up out there. Is that, you know, we can't allow our love to be cooled off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That we have, in other words, you have to pursue love. Right. You know, you can't tell your wife, "Hey, I loved you," and then 40 years later, you know, tell her again. That's not going to work. Right. Well, trust me on this. I am married. <laughs> so for 40 four years now, 43. And so the deal is this. You you have to pursue love. You have to pursue people. And so, uh, worship is actually the way we on earth, because I said we have this component of friendship with people and people we go to church with, people we in the world with, but the way you pursue God is through worship. That is one very big component. It's not just always all alone, although there can be a component yeah. of worship there, but there's corporate worship too, which I want to invite you to our church where we have great corporate worship. We get lost in the presence of God. It's For just, like a whole hour. Oh, it's awesome. You just, you, you're just with God. Yeah. So the deal is, I'm going to introduce you to the fact that worship is actually a component of friendship and love with God. Like there's an intimacy you enter into there mm -hmm. and it's corporate. It's this whole church body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we enter into together and it's like magnificent. It brings you to a yeah. whole different place. And go, you know what I'm talking about? You Absolutely. know that, right? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what it was reminding me of is, um, 
and I don't know if this is going to relate to anybody, but uh-huh. so when I'm in the car with my friends, oftentimes we connect when there's like music playing and yeah. we like to share music with each other and we're singing mm-hmm. and we're like dancing some, you know, having a good time <laughs> together. And we're together uh, and we're obviously we're, well, there's a lot of times we are singing worship music, yeah. but when the church is all together in the house and yeah. we're singing, it kind of feels like that when you're in the car enjoying this song together yeah. on a road trip maybe or just going somewhere all together yeah. and you don't feel like, oh yeah, I'm just like going... Because going to the grocery store by yourself versus a car full of your friends playing your favorite songs, those are two totally different moments. That is but great, also, yeah. there's a lot of times when I am with the Lord worshiping in the car by myself as well. Absolutely. And, and there's a lot of times where I actually can kind of imagine Jesus sitting in the car with me. Yeah. Because that kind of helps me to just feel that closeness. You know, like, mm-hmm. he is just like that. Absolutely. You know, and you can have those times with him. But It's the and and both. You really mm-hmm. have to have worship alone and mm-hmm. worship with God corporately. Uh, time alone with God and time <laughs> with God and his people. Yes. And there's an intimacy in both of those. And um, we actually have interviewed other people uh, and in the past we've interviewed very uh, several people who are worship people Liz. and Liz and we have others oh, also yes. that we'll be showing and I think it really connects to this whole thing of intimacy with God because I'm going to tell you that I believe that worship is at the key it's at the it's the little door that you know the key that yeah. unlocks the door to true intimacy with yeah. God in a special way but it's not only just all alone up on right. the mountain Right. But what do you think? We done? Yeah. Sure, if you well, want to. No, I, we can be done. I don't want to keep these people too long. Right. But we want you to tell them what you feel on your heart. What, I what do you want to wrap up with? What do you ta- What's well, your takeaway? She always does that to me. And I want to do that back to her. <laughs> well, I thought it was interesting when Pastor Bob wanted to talk about fellowship and friendship mm-hmm. because this is actually a, a focus point for me in this time of my life. So I'm getting married in just a couple of months. And uh, my fiance and I, we prayed and we felt that it was really important in these uh, short months leading up to our wedding to focus on our friendships because we yeah. know that we're going to be stepping into a different point of our lives to where him and I will be really close and we don't want our friendships to fall to the wayside. You want to exclude everybody. Exactly. And mm-hmm. so um, I've been putting special care into my own friendships yeah. and, um, and I've noticed just that brings me lots of joy. You know, yeah. I, especially because I felt like the Lord told us to do that and then we're being obedient and it feels really good. Yeah. But then also another note on friendship um, about what you said can't be on our own terms. Yeah. There was a time where I had a conversation with my best friend and she, um, because we're really close, she told me something honestly about um, just something that she was feeling yeah. with our relationship. And I, at first I was like, huh, I wonder if that's true. And then... I took lots of time to reflect on that. And then I started implementing to care for her feelings more. And since then, our friendship has been so much stronger. Just blossomed, huh? Yeah, because it's not me doing it the way I think is good or, you know, but actually Mm -hmm. taking input from her of, hey, this is how I'm feeling, and then catering and nurturing her feelings. And it's a great friendship. I've never had friendship like it. I think that friendship has to take into account the need of the other person, not yeah. just, it can't be selfish. Yeah. It has to be selfless. Yeah. Total, which is how the Lord is. Why else would he die on the cross for you? Absolutely. And also truth. a scripture that came to my mind, truth which I'm bomb? forgetting. Oh, no, truth bomb, right. <laughs> the scripture I'm forgetting, but it's coming to my mind is when Jesus said, um, when you visited me in prison, yeah. when you took care of this mm-hmm. and they're like, Jesus, when were, when yeah. were you? Yeah, and he says, hungry, if you do this to the yeah. least of me, yeah. you've done I don't know. Do you recall the... Scripture? Oh, it's right in the Bible. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> but that goes to show that Jesus himself said, if you care for my people, yeah. you're caring for me. Yeah. Which means if you're being intimate with mm-hmm. his people, you're being intimate with him. Absolutely. So, it's that's a wrap. all I have to say. It's a wrap. It... Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of God Thing TV. We are really just enjoying this season of intimacy. It's been really awesome. Yeah. Go ahead and drop a comment if you like this episode. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the post notifications so that way you get notified 
every time we post a video. If you've already watched the video, you might as well subscribe. You made it all the way through. So, yeah. <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Bye.